When most people think of New York, they think of Times Square, the lights, the giant billboards, the ball dropping on New Year's Eve. However, this is definitely one of the most overrated spots in New York City, and New Yorkers avoid this area like the plague. With that being said, if you've never been to New York or you're not a frequent visitor, it can be worth a quick pit stop, grab a couple of Instagram photos, but after a while, you're probably going to get tired of people shoving flyers in your face and the Avengers trying to take pictures with you. With that being said, there's a number of great restaurants, shops, and attractions just a stone's throw away. So let's take an adventure through Midtown Manhattan. One thing you definitely will not find a short supply of is artists here in the Times Square area. Not only will you find uh, some people who are musicians, but one of my favorite things to do is just watch some of the graffiti artists work. I mean, the things they do with the paint and stacking the layers is pretty amazing. So right now we're gonna check out one of the biggest Nintendo stores in North America. It's called Nintendo New York. It actually opened back in 2001 as a Pokemon Center and it's today a Pokemon stop if you play Pokemon Go. So let's go check it out. So you know New York's expensive, because even Mario's got a side job. So one of the coolest artifacts here in this store is an old Game Boy that survived a bombing in a barracks during the Gulf War. So you can see over here, this thing is just in shambles, but it's still functioning, it's still working, and you can still play it. That's unreal. They have tons of first look exclusives, so a couple weeks back, they had a demo of the new Super Smash Bros. It's not coming out for a couple of months. And I gotta tell you, there were people camped out down the block and around the corner. And whether or not you've tried some of the games that have come out for Nintendo, you can come here and test them out. Try before you buy. So this is cool because like, I kind of grew up on this and they've, they brought it back to the Switch. This is Donkey Kong Country. They used to have this for the Game Boy and now it's going to the Switch. And they've sort of brought it back and it looks super nice. So a lot of people know about Rockefeller Center, especially with the Christmas tree in December, but what a lot of people don't know is that there's this huge shopping complex right underneath. And both the Nintendo store, which we just visited, and the Lego store, which we're going to visit, are part of this plaza. So let's check it out. So one of the really cool things about being here in the Lego store is they have these massive displays and a lot of times they'll replicate things here in New York City. So they have a replica of the ice skating rink here at Rockefeller. They've got a huge dragon going through the wall. It is pretty cool. So all of these are different types of Legos. It's like a Lego buffet. You pick a cup and then you fill it up with whatever bricks you want. Oh, they have the Taj Mahal. That's cool. This is the circle line where you can take tours of New York. We've got Atlas here holding up the world. What if I told you you could see one of the largest slabs of the Berlin Wall that's still intact here in Midtown? It's here at 520 Madison Avenue. It was purchased by a real estate mogul named Jerry Spire, directly from the East German government. So sorry, I was wrong. The Berlin Wall fragment actually used to be here at 520 Madison Avenue, but they are shopping it around, trying to find a permanent home, potentially at MoMA, I actually did a video on MoMA a couple of weeks ago, so if you want to check that out, uh, click the card above. But here in Midtown, you never know what you're going to find. In fact, there's just this outdoor waterfall behind me. So you can check that out real quick before we go to our next destination. New York is a weird place. You never know what you're going to find around the corner. You might find a rat, you might find an umbrella sticking in the cement. One of the most popular destinations here in New York City is St. Patrick's Cathedral, which you can see behind me. A lot of people are drawn to the religious artwork all throughout the building. 
They hold daily masses here, so if you are religious, you can come and sit down. Even if you aren't religious, you can come stop by during certain hours of the day and explore this beautiful location. Not everything in Midtown has to break the bank. This is a really cool outdoor glass tunnel that you can take a walk through and it's completely free. Located on 46th Street between 8th and 9th Avenue is Restaurant Row. Just about any food that you can think of, whether that's Italian food, French food, Korean food, Japanese food, you name it, there is a ton of options. Me and Kathy are gonna do a more in-depth video down the road, but we just wanna mention this is one of the many spots that you can stop by. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for taking an adventure with us through Midtown Manhattan. And if you liked it, don't forget to click the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Thanks so much to Kathy for helping me record this video. As always, she's an awesome uh, helper. <laughs> but I'll attach some links to her channel down below. Don't forget to click the like, share, and subscribe buttons. As always, I'm Robbie Frank, and I will catch you next time.